What's up guys, it's Mr. Janvid and today we are back on the Pokemon Showdown server. I'm gonna be hitting you with some OU today. It's been quite some time since you've gotten some OU content on here, but fret not with the new DLC right around the corner. What a week? This is the 15th, I believe. 15th or 20th, I don't know. But like not far from now. Uh, I think it's the 22nd actually. Um, but yeah, obviously the content will be flowing. And I have not uploaded anything having to do with Cinderace. So if you guys have teams, definitely upload them. And as I said, I'll be, um, excuse me, I'd be lathering up. That way you guys can uh, have some better quality battles. So what am I at? 1849 to bonus 1868. So uh, better quality battles. I'm going to keep them 1900 plus. Um, I don't know how many people are in 2000. I'd say 2000 plus, depending on where 2000 plus is is like. But basically, 1900 plus. Generally, players within those by like 1900 up can beat each other. I mean, anybody can kind of beat anybody, but you get the idea. And so let's get into this real quick as we um, size up our opponent for the day. Uh, there's be something we don't want to see. Um, very threatening. And so <clears throat> if we look at Rotom, um, what's Rotom's purpose in this game? Um, Picks up Oko versus nothing. Uh, doesn't pick up any KOs upon Nasty Plot, however, assuming that um, we get significant damage on his Rotom Wash, um, it's very difficult for him to revenge kill. So I, while it's not the, you know, in like uh, top five or number one pick as far as this game, um, it does have some traits that I'd enjoy and I'm, I'm, I don't foresee me switching it into anything so that's gonna be something in the back most likely depending on if the zero or I'm gonna scout for grass now that's the only time but beyond that we should be good Pex guards against seems very weak to CM zero so my talk specs actually my zero or counter it also guards well against almost everything except the Rotom and the, the diggers being so T spikes are gonna be um, very important in this one and so we're gonna be baiting out Gengar a lot um, <clears throat> Dragapult is going to be integral, um, picking up massive KOs. I'm going to play Dragapult a lot more recklessly. Um, yeah, a lot more recklessly. Um, or I'll get T Spikes up and then Draco spam. Jirachi, very good in this one. I actually like CM Jirachi in this. Um, probably like an early game breaker to force certain things, but I have to get it in on certain mines, which I don't know if I'll be able to. Manda Buzz. Core purpose is for the Gengar. And Hippodon is for every physical attacker on his team except Gengar and uh, thing. And so, um, as I mentioned, T spikes early. Problem is, I don't know anything about his. So this is excellent. I don't know anything about his. Um, I'm actually gonna Draco hard. Did not expect Con Killer, but he's a Salt Vest, and so that's good information to have. As <clears throat> I'm not coming out. It's an interesting turn, right? Because I could go Hippo as my... Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to opt for Pex, allow him to knock my item off. Um, this may have Earthquake. I, I'm very tempted to go Rotom here because it covers both. Uh, let's see. So Diggers B, you went hard Diggers B. I didn't expect him to go hard to it. Um, that's fine. This not SD digs is problematic, but I do have an out for that. So what I'm gonna do is Mandibuzz mid ground first, right? And unless he has knock, knockoff's the only thing that, um, yeah. And so leave him looking like a fool. As I were just gonna fire off a no 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 Draco meter, yeah. So he's what the fuck? I mean, it's not like the biggest deal in the world, but I just don't know how he survived that. How the fuck did he just survive a Specs Draco? He's like max HP or something. What the fuck? And so this is phenomenal positioning for Jirachi because we get to Psychic here. Can't go to um Gengar or he gets bodied. Goes to Rotom. We potentially sub on a will o -Wiz slash Thunder Wave. If he wants to straight Hydro, we can play that game. But that's a very dangerous game for him to play. Yeah, excellent, excellent, excellent. And so, this forces the sidekick. Excellent. 
What the fuck is up with this dude's team, man? This dude seems pissing me the fuck off. And so obviously we need Manda Buzz out. We're gonna this is the only thing Manda Buzz is on the team to KO. So we're gonna U-turn out, um, because then we control the positioning. And so at this point, Pex and Hippo should beat everything except like a CM Zero. That CM Zero. Um, that's my biggest concern. And so what I'm gonna do is get my T spikes back up to counter rack a CM Zero. Um, his only counter play is what trick rolled him or specs rolled him or something like that if that's the case so be it i'll trade t spikes for that um so it's nasty plot um mm. that's that is problematic but nothing i can't like stop huh because it also could be a speed tie with Mm, maybe I should have toxic this. Nasty plot didn't cross my mind, which it should have. Um, how much did he take from whatever I used? What did I use versus this? How did he lose damage? Psychic did 38%, which implies that he's probably max. Mm, I'm gonna toxic here. I died. I needed to live that. I needed to live that because it's gonna get closer than I expected, especially depending on what his zero aura is. I completely, completely, um, but, but like, and actually, now that I think about it, Toxic there was no drawback. Um, I completely forgot that Rotom even learned Nasty Plot for a moment there, so now. This is a weird turn because I can 2 kill him with Psychic, but he can knock me out with potential Hydro Pump. Now, the question is whether he's going to go for Hydro Pump or he's going to go for... I'm going to see him... Uh, going to Calm Mind first in case he Hydros. He does. Um, and so I think it's going to get close. Calm Mind again means I live Hydro. But he might T-Bolt. So he sacks Conk. Which I'm glad that he switched. But at the same time, I don't think it changes too much. Um, basically, I needed Rotom. Uh, I don't think it changes too much. Um, so we're going to find out what kind of Zera this is. Um, he could be packing um, Grass Knot. Yep, there it is. And so he's far too weak in now um and so <clears throat> it might end up playing a role it, it'll just depend because the rotom you know obviously can hydro pump it'll depend on if i get my discharge off versus his rotom if it's a speed tie you know and so <clears throat> we obviously want to hip out on a live for let me see life orb life orb sand plus poison doesn't matter if it doesn't kill. So he CCs, which is excellent. I think he would have died. Poison would have been. It doesn't, matter. it doesn't fucking matter. And so we get to go back to Rachi, get another round of leftovers, force that Mimikyu in, invite the Hippon on, then we just whirlwind spam. Uh, I'm not letting that Mimikyu do as it pleases. Uh, and then when the. And then we're looking at a. Probably a last month. A wood hammer. Oh, that's that's different. Um, and <laughs> bad. <laughs> that's not good. Uh, so we can't allow him to wood hammer plus. Sorry. Uh, I can't have a miss Ding here. Shadow Claw is a misplay. It's a huge misplay. Um, so let's see. Life orb. Ten. Poison is 12. Unless I'm miscalculating something. Leftovers is 10. Poison is 12. I mean, life over is 10. Poison is 12. Okay. So we'll just stealth rock here. Excellent. So we'll obviously whirlwind. Um, yeah. And so now we can sack... I mean, I, I guess there's no downside to going Rotom here, because we're going off the... 
I don't want him double switching back. Yeah. I, basically, what I didn't want is him to double switch back. And so we get the discharge off. So if he's, yeah, and I think Jirachi's. So we, um, Jirachi should take two pumps. If it doesn't, then don't go. Don't, don't do it. Nice. Um, and so we made a huge mistake under some. I have not seen a Rotom wash in I don't know how long. And so we put ourselves in a. If we just toxic the Rotom. Because in hindsight, I mean, if you went Conk Kelder, he, he switched out with his Assault Vest last time, implying that he doesn't have Earthquake. I mean, otherwise, why wouldn't you, like, Pex isn't something that you'd be overly concerned with. You knocked me off, you two killed me at that range. But he opted to switch into, I don't remember what it was at the time, I think Diggersby. Maybe he just positionally wanted Diggersby to be the, the, the heavy hitter. Like, he figured that, okay, well... You know he's gonna um very weird team his diggers be that was a specs draco and the diggers be not only lived it took that shit comfortably comfortable like hippo doesn't even take it what the fuck was that so he was fucking <laughs> zero speed max hp swords dance diggers be because i'm like how the fuck did he take that and then i got i think almost absolute min now i mean i didn't have the best chance to oko him anyway so i mean that that is what it is but yeah, like if it was zero, he just died. So the drag pole play was actually ingenious. Um, it would have worked out. Um, my biggest regret there was obviously not toxicing the Rotom. And I didn't realize how weak to Rotom Wash I am without <laughs> Dragon Pole. Like I completely, like Rotom Wash used to be a menace. To, to <laughs> you know, shit is changing when. I'm disrespecting Rotom Wash to the degree I just did. Like, it just wasn't a Pokemon. So, um, definitely learned. Do not underestimate Rotom Wash. Um, so, we're refusing a cliff. I actually haven't been seeing too many cliffs. Uh, where's this guy at? 1801. Okay. So, so, again, you know, more competent opponents. As Rotom's core purpose in this one, I just purpose in, in general. Um, it has the potential to Oko a Scarf Rachi, um, has the potential to Oko Ferrothorn upon Nasty Plotting. So the really own the the core mon that that really gives Rotom problem is Hydreigon. I mean, even Zero isn't the best. So Toxic Spikes, while it affects nothing, uh, it affecting Zero is a big enough reason for me to kind of bet on it. Also. Combine zero or six holds me and so it's imperative for me to have my toxic Pex well positioned that way the zero or can't get out of hand Secondly toxic Pex is almost impossible for him to kill unless that's a, a CM Rachi like my own <clears throat> And so, you know the biggest threat to my team being potential plot hydra um, potential plot hydra is Zera and Rachi somewhat thinking I'm thinking about mm, um I have no information on that zero but that's okay um what I'm gonna do is Polt to protect myself from the Hydra gun and everything else um I really want to lead Pex but I lead Pex and he's and he just goes for a nasty plot I lose a mine um I go a mine down so that's not ideal um, and so we're gonna go uh, Dragapult. My game plan is T spike up, and so right here he's gonna tell me whether or not he's choice scarf. Now if he's really ballsy, he'd just go for, um, yeah. So he's not scarf. And so we don't have any information on this uh, Clefable. I'm gonna U-turn because I'm not sure what my opponent has in mind. Because uh, he could have double switched there. I know we struggle with CM Clef as well. And so, actually, T Spikes plus Jirachi, assuming I burn Ferrothorn so he can't knock off, it's pretty problematic for him. Mm. Mm, I know how important I said Rotom was. Let's go Rotom here. Yeah, that's exactly what I didn't want. Um, the problem is, if he wasn't. But let's say he wasn't, um, actually I'll just discharge hard. Um, off chance, hide your gun, you risk the hit. Uh, you risk the paralysis. Um, I might lose a mind to, to hide your gun here. 
but I'm gonna double down. I have to. I have to really check what this guy has, because otherwise, like say for example, if I went Pex on Hydre, I guess I could. He could have teleported though, so I don't think even doubling to Mandy that I'd be staring down Zero Aura. So we're gonna see what he he has. So he's just he just Dracoed hard. He seems to be Scarf, which is good news. Which is good news because now I can U-turn. And because he has knock, I doubt he has, yeah. And so this T-Spike is going to go a long way. I'm going to likely lure in. Uh, so we'll double spike. That way we can um, badly poison. And Hex. Hex. Your boy Hex is no motherfucking joke. Especially when I get Stealth Rock. So I'm going to let him play the hazard game. Um, I kind of want... Yeah, okay, cool. So he's playing the stain in game, which I don't have a problem with. Um, he wants to see if I have toxic. And so now at this point, I kind of want Ferrothorn burnt. Um, the clef just chills. The fact, because it's burnt, my Jirachi can sit up. So that's phase one. My Jirachi really can ramsack him at this point. But I have to time it well. Um, and because he's Scarf and he has um, Rock Clefable, I don't know if there was any way around me getting around this not. Well, actually, if I went to Pex first initially, then um, Rotom would have never lost his item. thing about it, though, is that Rotom is kind of the switching into this. And so, um, we got to take this thing one step at a time. Um, hmm. We're going to be chilling in here. We're going to be chilling. Uh, we're gonna be chilling until we stall out a couple of these moves. Um, I think he'll get more impatient than me. So we're gonna continually stall every other turn. I, again, game plan wise, yeah, there it is. There's the man time. And so he's gonna scoff for. He's not. It doesn't matter if he scoffs for toxic. Mm, does it? My player is to toxic spike again. Yep. So now he thinks that I have, he doesn't think I have Toxic. So he's going to go back to Mantine here. Mm hmm. And now I'll Toxic him. Because he's going to Defog or Scald here. Boom. So, excellent. So that's Hex. So everything is Hexable right now, except Ferrothorn. But that's okay. That is okay. So now I'm expecting Clefable to rear back its ugly head. Um, and so we're gonna go to Jirachi. Now he might call. Uh, this might have been risky. Yeah, please don't hex. Thank you. That's actually a really stupid play by me. So we're gonna substitute here. Um, this is a phenomenal position. Oh, excellent, excellent. This is exactly what I needed. Nice. And so usually I burn these so they can't do what they just did. And so he has to go for. He has to stand. Um, everything else gets bodied. Unless he's going to show me Jirachi here. Um, it could be Trick. I could see Trick being a thing. Um, this is definitely Scar. I don't know if he tricked me though. No, this can't be Scarf. What would the Hydra gun be? And it's because CM Zero is still a problem, so I don't want to give him his uh, Mantine recovery. Uh, and this is too problematic for him. What would he do? What could this be? Hmm. Scarf, if he is trick, how devastating is that? Uh, let's see. Let's go hip out on. So you want the? I, I'd rather Rotom be tricked. Uh, excellent, excellent. He tried to flinch me. Excellent. And so what this allows, I'm pretty sure he's choice. And what this allows is for me to go to Dryer Pole slash Mant versus. You know what I'm trying to say? Um. Hmm. I don't want certain things in. Obviously. Uh, you want to be wary of Mantine. I mean, not Mantine. So we're going to double back to Jirachi. I'm not sure what he's going to do. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> that is not what I expected. And so this is some kind of... 
like destruction rachi like some expert belt shit which means he can't his his okay so the moment i get my jirachi back in this is def like it's 100 percent scarf on this and so okay so hippodon can't be allowed to be touched because if this is a grass knot that means it's meant to catch something like hippodon seismic which means that's a physical zero aura um okay so we'll go gyropult here as weird as that looks um please don't fucking hex me thank you uh and because ferrothorn was allowed to get hit hex is no drawback kind of should go hydro ground as a mid ground yeah um and he has to go to uh doesn't matter though i'll go toxapex yeah i knew you'd have to u-turn there but um with toxapex allows for his man time to have to think twice um he actually goes rachi which means this has psychic as well um which makes sense to be just you know stab uh mm. Mm, debating, debating, debating. Pex, Pex can't allow to be hit. Or a sphere. What the fuck? Did he predict? He, um. Okay. Alright, so I can't go back to uh, Gyropult again. Um. Ugh. Ugh. Look, this is annoying because I have to take a T-Bolt here. Uh, I'm thinking what I'd heal versus. I guess I could roost into U-turn. Um, okay, switch, bet. Bet. This is excellent, eh? As this allows me to substitute, he's gonna knock. Um, but he's burnt. Mm hmm. So I think I two a KO and I don't, but it's taking way too much to knock me out. So I two a KO and before. Um, obviously, I didn't want Jirachi to be this low, ideally, but I'm Clef being gone, which mean will just mean I range Draco meters. Um, so he goes to his Jirachi. This is a speed tie. Uh, oh, he doesn't even. Please win the tie, Jirachi. Jirachi! <laughs> How are you gonna lose both fucking ties? Now the only relevant tie was the um, should you turn here. Um, yeah, he has to make these plays. Like they're sure you know they're not like the hardest things in the world to predict, but I don't need to predict. I don't need to predict them. And so at this point, um, Clefable is going to be insanely overwhelming, um, insanely insanely overwhelming. And so you know obviously he's going to go for the healing. Uh, I want him to heal, um, though I don't want to deal with a potential knockoff. So I actually, I won't play around with him because um, he might just attack, right? Um, hmm. Didn't think he'd go Hydra, but I still think I get more health. Um, yeah. And so Pex infinitely comes in. Yeah. There's nothing he can do. Oh, he could actually go back to Clef here. I sub CM. Is that another KO? Is that the best way to use Jirachi? So obvious body press here, uh, or knock. I mean, he might have knockoff. Mm. Ferrothorn was a good mid ground play there, uh, cause obviously he could potentially get some lead sheet off. I think if he had knockoff, he would have used it rather than use body press, right? Uh, 
plus one aura sphere did 59 so this isn't zero speed uh, not zero speed you know what I'm trying to say it's not zero um, this is tough this is tough uh, I can afford to risk pulled here yeah, he doesn't have knocked. Otherwise, you would have used it. That is just no reason for you not to have knocked there. And so I'm assuming Dire Ball, this should knock him out from there, yeah. And so Pharaoh is gone. Unfortunately, this annoying ass Hydreigon keeps coming in. And so I'm going to heal up my picks as soon. Uh, very surprised Man Sign rid its ugly head. Uh, that's probably because he's going to. Yeah. Yeah, okay. He's going to defog. Oh, he just scalded. All right, cool. He just toxic spam. He goes to Cliff. Mm-hmm. Toxic spam. Yeah, like he was just never gonna get that zero aura. In. Like I was never gonna allow that. Hippona is literally on the team for the zero aura, and so toxic spikes don't matter anymore. Um, helmet. He's gonna set up rocks. How much does that matter? My rocks would prevent his Hydreigon from continually coming in, so I do want them up. Excellent. Excellent! And so he's gonna attempt to remove my item here. Um, I'd like to keep my item. Thank you very much. And so now he can't keep pivoting around with that Hydreigon. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, this thing is just mad annoying, mad, mad annoying. Um, but it's gonna be a PP game. Let's see how many. Yes, Stealth Rock. No, no, no. Rotom. Rotom can come in on this. Um, comes in on this. Pace play. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah. It's just forfeits. Um, it's gonna be a really hard game for him to win, obviously, but. It could have been a, you know, there was no doubt. I, I don't think there was a doubt that I was going to win that game. Problem is, it was going to be like a fucking, another, honestly, probably 50 turns. If he wanted to play this out. I don't have a quick way of beating Cliff. Um, I'd have to position Jirachi properly, leftovers, yada, yada, yada. Um, but because it's not doing enough with sub and CM and all that, it wasn't enough. And so I'd have to... Position Rotom in, because that's what I was seeing. Okay, Rotom comes in, da da da. You know, will I paint split enough to where, you know, I don't die to rocks the next time the Hydreigon comes in? Because I don't want to have to be the, the one defogging. Um, or I could opt for some situation where I just straight attack the Hydreigon. That way he has to defog. If Hydreigon's gone, then my Jirachi destroys. You know, you get the idea. Well, he did. The, he did the best he could. This Jirachi set just pulled his fucking weight. Um, thankfully, I didn't get burnt. I didn't think he'd scald the second time. I thought for sure he'd uh, prioritize defogging, but I guess he figured. Well, Pex is just impossible for me to beat, and that's why I'm like this defensive stronghold of Pex plus Mandibuzz. It was just I could technically stall out his Moon Blast by switching between the two um, rocks at this point. Or not, not switching between those two. Switching between, um, probably like I could probably pivot between Hippo and Hippo and um, Pex. But he has Rock. It it take forever. It take forever. I have the upper hand, but it will take a really long time um, to do so because we're just gonna be sitting here playing these Pex games. Obviously, we gotta be mindful of our recovers, but we're just gonna pee pee stall till till whatever the fuck um, and he doesn't want to allow Dragapult in because Dragapult kills something and he comes in yada 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 and so this is why we're not on the ladder and playing Clef <laughs> thank you all for watching that's where we're going to wrap up the live for today it's going to be about 30 um, next few lives are going to be about 30 uh, gotta respect the time you feel me Thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Again, we're going to, where am I, like 18, uh, 87. And so, you know, 
we gotta do better <laughs> gotta do better uh so yeah thank you all for watching shout outs to eclipse the ou um one of my OU headmasters if you want to be a headmaster if you're proficient in a tier pm me um in the academy discord always looking for new headmasters i'll see you guys in the next one peace